Uh, hey everybody. So I wanted to give this video a little bit of an introduction. Um, I was sewing along just fine here on this jacket. And, um, oh, see, now I can't sew and talk at the same time. Um, I was sewing along on this jacket just fine. And then my um, nipple started making like a popping sound. And, of course, so I have to fix it. I thought I'd video it because I figured my nipple needed to be clean. Um, and I did, in fact, clean the nipple, but I didn't clean it good enough. And um, so this is kind of a funny video. If you guys can spend the time to watch it, um, it's like a failed nipple cleaning. <laughs> and then I actually successfully cleaned the nipple. And... Um, I, in the video, I was trying to sort of diagnose what my problem was. So it's sort of a long and goofy video, but the end of it is that my nipple was clogged, and even after cleaning it, it was still clogged. And I was a little confused because I couldn't get my needle bar back in the machine because the nipple was clogged, but I couldn't see the clog because I could see right through the nipple. So it was just caked on stuff that I finally cleaned out in the end of this video. And um, I did tighten my nipple pressure, but I think I'm going to reduce that back off now. So hopefully you can bear with me and watch this video about nipple cleaning. And maybe you'll get a laugh um, as I fumble around trying to figure out what it is. But, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm still a rookie and I'm still learning. And I know you all out there, you get problems and so do I. And when things come up, you know, you kind of just got to go one step at a time and try to figure out um, what the problem is. But now my machine is sewing um, very nicely, as you can see. And I'm having trouble um, steering and talking at the same time. But um, I'm going to finish filling this motorcycle jacket now. But I'll link my um, videos back together so you can see um, my nipple cleaning frustration. So, apologize for like the amateur hour video, but um, hopefully it'll at least make you guys feel like, you know, you're not the only ones that struggle and, you know, things do kind of go wrong and you just have to figure it out. So, happy video watching. Okay, so it's time to clean out my nipple. Here's why. Hear it? Hear that noise? That means my needle's getting stuck in my nipple and pulling the nipple up with the needle. Okay, so I'm going to loosen my needle set screw using my proper gunsmithing screwdriver. And I'm going to pull my needle bar out. See that? There's a clog of lint on my needle bar. And so now I'm going to um, set my needle bar down and I'm going to take out the nipple. So I'm going to pause you guys, put you in the holder, and show you how I take out and clean the nipple. Okay, so I'm going to take my magnets and my paper oil guard off and then put my foot down. So I've just taken my needle out. So now you have to take the nipple off. So you either use a little nipple wrench like this or you can use a small crescent wrench. You just adjust it to the size of the nipple. So I have to make this a little smaller. And then you just unscrew your nipple. That's it. Let's see. I'm, I'm unscrewing the nipple now. Let's see what's in there. Hmm. Not sure if you can see that. Yeah, it's actually pretty clear. I'm gonna clean it anyhow. Okay. 
So the way I clean the nipple is I normally take a piece of chenille yarn and then mm, I'm going to be using my, um, sorry I had to grab it off the serger, my easy threading uh, needle that Christy told us about and I'm going to put the chenille yarn in it and I'm going to feed it up from the other side. Pull it through. Hopefully you guys can see that. Just pull it through kind of like dental floss and um, clean out the nipple. Okay, so that's all you have to do. My nipple wasn't too dirty. Um, now I'm going to put it back. It's a good idea on all your machine screws and things. I'm using um, TriFlow Synthetic Lubricant. I'm going to put a drop of oil on my um, screw threads here. And I'm just going to put my needle back in. And then that, that banging sound I was hearing, I'm not 100% sure that it was the nipple because the nipple was actually pretty clean. Um, so I'm not 100% sure it was that. So I, I'm just, with my fingers, I'm just kind of tightening the nipple, not super tight, just fingertip tight with a tool. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put a drop of, sorry, put a drop of oil on the things that are related to the nipple. So that's this uh, tube here and um, this right here is your nipple pressure. Um, my nipple pressure could be a little light, but you need to put oil into the, um, sorry, I don't know if you guys can see that. You need to put oil into the inside of this tube, and then the tube goes up and down here. Sorry, <laughs> camera work. Um, it goes up and down here, and anywhere you see a hole, you can put a drop of oil in, in the hole. And then um, I'm, while I'm here, I'm just going to put a drop of oil on stuff that spins and goes up and down. Um, in the front and in the back. And um, sorry, it looks like my camera lens might be a little dirty. Let me clean that. Hang on. Okay. So um, you just want to remember to put oil everywhere that moves and literally everywhere that moves, everything. And also like in these, sorry, in these holes you see here, throw a drop of oil into that um, because usually that is a hole that goes all the way through to a shaft. Okay, so I might increase my nipple pressure just a little bit, which you loosen. Sorry, get you some light here. I'm gonna take my little cute little crescent wrench here this is a lock washer here. I'm going to loosen my lock washer, turn that up, and then I'm just going to rotate this down. That's screws going down. There is a spring inside of this tube that makes that go up and down, and I'm increasing the pressure on the spring, so I'm basically squeezing the spring, and then the spring will have more pressure, so it'll push down more on the nipple. And then I turn this, this lock washer, turning it back tight, and I'm going to just a little bit, sorry, i got to get my crescent wrench the right size. I'm just going to give it a little snug, just like with the tip of my finger. And that lock washer now is, is locked down on the tube. So I just increased my nipple pressure a little bit. So we'll see what happens now. Um, put you guys into the holder and um, get my, I'm going to, I'm going to run the machine a little bit, um, probably just unthreaded it doing that. Let's see, where's that notch? Um, nope, thread's still on the notch. I'm going to just dab, sorry I'm rambling, I'm going to just dab my machine's face. A lot of times like oil collects here. And I'm just going to dab everywhere. 
on my machine and get any spare oil. And I also usually come down here and sometimes there's a drop forming right here on this thing that sticks down. Sorry, wait. Right here on this, sometimes there's a drop of oil hanging down. So I usually just blot that. And then I usually blot over here because, of course, y'all are taking good care of your machines and have oiled them. So I blot occasionally. And now I'll go back to sewing and see if it's better now that I've cleaned my nipple. So um, i put you guys in the holder here. I'm going to... Um, Sorry, I'm gonna try to get you guys back into focus. Focus. What is going on? Okay, there. Sorry. Okay. Put my nose back at six o'clock. Okay, nose at six. Nose at six. I'm gonna clean off my needle bar which has this hunk of lint on it. Just gonna rub it off on some, some stuff in the trash. And then put, look at my, looking at my needle, making sure my hook is facing forward. Put my needle back in, drop it down. Oh, I have to raise up my nipple. And, put it back. Actually, I think I made a mistake. I need to clean my needle bar tube because the needle is being sticky. Okay, back up a little bit here. Okay, Karen says, when you clean your nipple, clean your needle bar tube. I was bad. Skip to step. Okay, so I got these straw cleaning brushes on Amazon. I'm gonna stick this down the Oh, see, now I have to take my nipple off again. <laughs> All right, uh, this is where the this little wrench, or um, I think it's a, I don't know, five millimeter or something. You can just take a nipple to the um, auto parts store or something and get your own wrench. Okay, so I have to take my nipple off. Now I'm back up here, I'm going to push my... Um, brush down. I don't know if you can see it just came out the bottom. I'm gonna push my brush up and down in the this is the brush. Pushing it up and down and I do see a, like a hunk of stuff fell out. Um, oh my goodness. Let me zoom you guys in here. Look at this stuff fell out of the um, let me see if I can get it over to the front. You see this stuff just came out of the needle needle bar tube. Sorry, I, I was kind of in the middle of doing my jacket. I wasn't expecting to shoot a video, but I figured oh, I might as well because um, some people ask how to clean out your nipple and now needle tube. So I got my, my straws coming down from the top and it knocked that, that junk out of the needle bar tube. Okay, so kind of pushing it down, spinning it. All right, we look good. Got that junk out. All right, back to the holder. Okay. All right, back to the holder. I'm gonna get this nasty, oily, linty stuff off into the trash. I'm cleaning off my, okay, so this is a pipe cleaner. It is great for um, sticking in stuff, but it doesn't necessarily fit in a, in a size six nipple, um, but you could stick it down the needle bar tube if you don't have a drinking straw thing. Okay, so now Karen Holloway, I've cleaned out my needle bar. Now I'm gonna put my nipple back. Just put it there. I did put oil on it already, so I'm just gonna put it back in. Starting it with my fingers, so I carefully get it threaded appropriately, and then I'm going to use my little nipple wrench here, um, which you really can't over tighten it, but I just do it with my fingers, just snug. You don't want to make it over tight. Okay, now 
taking the needle back this is a size 5 needle and I'm using a size 6 nipple oh my my arm is in the way sorry so needle bar sticking it in and then um, oh see it's still a little sticky but okay so I need to put some oil in there where did my oil go I'm gonna put a drop of oil in here Okay, well that was actually three. Okay. Oh, look, the, the needle came out and there's junk on it. Um, so I'm going to clean that off. Stick it down. Okay. Hmm. I'm not liking that. Okay, so as I was trying to replace my needle bar into the machine, it kept being sticky at the bottom. And so I tried it a couple more times and I cleaned the nipple tube again. And sure enough, um, I thought I had cleaned my nipple, but I hadn't. And it, um, the needle is getting stuck in the nipple. I don't know if you guys can see this, but sure enough, I, I did in fact clean the nipple with the um, chenille yarn but look it uh, the needle isn't going through the nipple so I know there's something even worse stuck in here so I'm going back to my chenille yarn and I'm gonna run it through here again and this needle I'm kind of gonna scrape it on the side of the nipple a little bit as I put it in we'll see what in the heck is stuck in here? Um, trying to pull the chenille yarn through. Sometimes it goes and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm pulling the chenille yarn. Oh, now I just messed up the chenille. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, hold on. This should be an outtake, but I'm gonna just keep rolling so you guys can see all the kind of silly stuff that I do. Okay, so this is in fact a number six nipple and it should fit the number five needle, but there is something very stuck in this nipple. Uh, I see it now. So I've kind of used my needle and I've kind of pushed it in along the sides of the nipple. And now I see it here. Oh no, that's chenille. Sorry. Okay. But there's still, it's telling me there's something stuck in here. And I've got to find out what it is and get it out. So I'll try to run the chenille yarn through it one more time. If you can get the chenille yarn started, then it goes, but if not, then it, okay, it doesn't want to go. All right. So I'm going to try to stick the ne number five needle through from this side. Now it's tight. Hmm. All right. So it's, something is very jammed in here. I'm going to pause you guys and clean it out. Okay, so I was able to get, uh, put some oil in here and get two things of chenille yarn through the, the needle. I just have the yarn looped around that thing for right now. And I was able to put some oil in sorry I know you're wiggling kind of dropped some oil in on my chenille yarn and then I was able to sort of hold it and run the nipple back and forth and some um, I think I threw it in the trash but some black like really hard black things came out um, that were like so in there they weren't coming out so I'm using some oil 
on my chenille yarn here and sort of like dental floss trying to clean out this nipple. That was very irritating. This is probably the worst video I think I've ever made. Uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and post it just so you all can see that, you know, the nipple makes a difference. So hopefully it's clean now. I mean, I honestly could not get the needle to pass through the, the nipple. And it's, it is a number six nipple. So, um, now some, and I couldn't even see the dirt. Like I couldn't see it. So now the number five needle, look. Now the number five needle can go through. Um, boy, I mean, I couldn't even see it. I was like, D did the nipple get damaged? Is it time to just throw this nipple in the trash? Cause they only cost $3, you know, from Abdul, but no, it was just like caked, caked on little stuff, just hiding in, in just the small section of this nipple here. And that was making my machine not work. So I know that was my problem because when I put when I went to put the the nipple back into my machine, um, put my nipple in. You know, I had cleaned my um, needle bar tube, and I put my nipple back in. And then when I back out here, then when I went to put my needle bar in, it was like stuck. And my needle wasn't dropping down and I was like what the heck so now you can see that um, sorry it's my this is my tag so I know it's now you can see the needle is just coming all the way out freely so I had a clogged nipple and that was the problem only it was very hard to figure out where the clog was okay thanks for watching hope you guys uh, hope that helped y'all okay I'm going to reset my needle and get back to sewing.